and I'm going to attempt to take out my anode rod on this hot water heater because what's happening is I'm starting to get smelly hot water and usually that could be the problem or is the problem so I'm going to get my inch and 1 16th ratchet I'm going to go in here take it out and what the anode rod is it's actually a long rod that's inside your tank that goes straight down and hangs there and um, all the metals that are inside I guess the water and whatever comes in instead of it attacking the tank it attacks that rod and if I get this thing out you'll probably see it'll be pretty much deteriorated there'll be probably nothing left of it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually drain out some of the water in my tank. I'm going to hook up, I'm going to make some crazy setup because I don't have a hose to go outside. It's going to go from the spigot down, I have like a hose you use for a faucet. I'm going to stick it into this pipe and I got the pipe going all the way down to the sewer. So I'm going to set that up get this show on the road. All right, I'm gonna shut off my water now so I can start to take out the anode rod. Now up here, usually there's a sh cold water shut off somewhere right along this pipe here on top of the hot water heater. This is the hot side that goes to all your appliances. Then this side here is the cold side. That's where there would be another valve. I happen to have put the valves up here higher I put two, you usually only have just one, which is the cold water supply coming in. But I put two because a lot of times I just stop water from draining back. So I just shut off my cold and the hot line going up so nothing could come back. And that's it. So everything should be off. Then I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to check my valve over here that shut off right there. I'm gonna check that out, make sure it's even working. A lot of times these things, they just freeze shut and you go to touch them and you mess them up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open it up and see what we have. to that and let the rest of the water out just drain it down a little bit so that there's nothing at the top where the uh, anode rod gets unscrewed from and then I'm going to get the pressure relief valve I'll just give this a little air in there so the water comes out better and as soon as you do that and you let air into the system Put that drain a little bit. I mean, I don't even have to go to the And also, I'm going to shut off the pilot. I'll just turn this knob to pilot so it doesn't go for the gas. And we'll get the ratchet and we'll see if we can break loose the saddle rod. So, let's see what we got here. Let me get my ratchet. And we'll start taking the rod out. Okay, so now I have my ratchet. I'm going to put it in here. You know it's not going to come out. So I'm just going to show you. I have a little shot. And we'll try. <clears throat> Nothing. So what I'm going to have to do is get a friend to help me which is gonna be this bar that I have right here. I'm gonna slide this old pipe on top of this, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, there we go. It's always good to have a friend to help you. I didn't even have to go outside and get them couple more times and I should be able to break it free. Alright. Let's try that another time and then I think 
I'd be able to get it myself. Let's see. That should be it. Do it by hand. I hope everything comes out nice and peaceable. See now more water is starting to come out down below. Alright, we're good. Let me see now if I take this off. Much more I gotta unthread it. Oh, this doesn't seem right. Let me get a screwdriver and see what I can do here. All right, I stopped the water from coming out. That should be enough. Well, let's see what the story is on this baby right here. Because he's pretty loose. Wow. There it is. There is nothing but crud on there. Hardly any life left, but it's doing pretty good. But I think this is the reason why I have my smell. There it is. All corroded. Up here it got all messed up also. See how thin it is. So now I bought another one. It's kind of like a sausage link because you can't get a long rod in when you have the ceiling above you because it hits the ceiling. So I'm going to get that. I'll show you what that one's all about and I'll be right back. All right, so this is that I bought on Amazon. It's about 40 bucks. Pretty much came with everything. They gave me a ratchet which I used to unscrew it. They also gave me instructions, which is nice. They give you a cap in case you need it for your valve down below, in case I guess it stops leaking. I mean, if it doesn't stop leaking, you can cap it off because those things are made out of plastic. They gave us some Teflon, which is nice. And the actual anode rod that I was telling you about that is collapsible, they look like nunchucks. So I'm gonna open this package up, see how long it is, make sure it fits into my tank, then we're gonna put it in the top, over here, drop it in, put some Teflon on, tighten it up, fill everything up, like the heater, that should be it. All right, here we are. This is the anode rod. I'm sorry about my camera placement, just hard to put it anywhere where you can see, but it came like this. See, it has a cable in the middle. And it came with four sections. And it fits in my hot water heater perfect. And it just hangs in there. It's aluminum zinc. This is like a sacrificial rod now. Once we put it in there, all the metals will attack this instead of your tank. Hopefully I caught it in time, but we will see. I'm gonna put some Teflon on here that they supplied. Lower it down and see how it goes. Always put your Teflon clockwise so as you tighten it, it doesn't unravel. All right, so this is it. Now, the reason why it's like this, because the last one, I actually got mine out because I have a bay up there and my ceiling's not finished. but. If you didn't, you had a finished ceiling, this would, the old one would never come out. I mean, the new one would never go in. The old one would be all rotten. You could bend it and get it out. So now I'm getting it in there. And now we're going to pop this guy in. Now what I like to do is, because you don't want to cross-thread it, I 
do it by hand. Nice and easy and you feel back and forth. There you go. I think we got it. It's going nice and easy. Going in a few turns. Now I'll place the ratchet on it. And we'll continue to tighten it. That's a nice, nice little pressure on. Don't wobble around. To put it on, you don't need to put it on with the pipe. You can just do it pretty tight by hand and you should be fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do now that this is in, I, got, I opened up a faucet down here to the hot side, let some water out. Gonna make sure everything's off. I'm gonna fill the tank up and we'll see if we have any leaks. Well, I really only took out about a bucket of water from here and I opened up a faucet, just the hot side really. And like I said before, I had my pilot light off. I'll relight it, get this out of here. Now I'm going to go up in the top, put my valves back on, fill it up, make sure there's no leaks. So pretty much it's a simple job. I think the hardest part really is trying to get it out. But as you saw, all I had to do was put a pipe on it or something, a little leverage, that's the whole key, and it came right out. All right, so let me turn everything on. And I'll get back with you. So this is the new anode rod in this new home. And now I'm going to turn the water on. That was my hot valve going up. That was really useless. This is the water coming in. And I'm going to fill it up. Go nice and slow because I don't want it to rush in. And you never know something can break on you. On the force. Now we'll see how this is. Just make sure it doesn't leak. Then we fill it up. We're going to go down here and let some pressure out. And we fell. Sorry, this video is not really professional. There we go. It's filling out good. Everything looks good. So basically that's how you take out an anode rod. Couldn't find one at my local plumbing supply, so I had to order it online. It was maybe like $40, $45. But if you get a few more years out of your tank, or even change them a little bit earlier, then, then maybe you could uh, really save your tank. But can't hurt to throw one in. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and I'll uh, see you on another one.